Hello, teacher. Hey. Let's go back. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. How Thank was you? You, you too. How was your vacation? Really fun. Really hardly yeah, work. All right. That's good. I'm happy to hear that. And did you practice your English? A little bit. Okay. That's good. That's good. What did you do to practice? Did you watch any movies in English or listen to music in English? In what did case, you do? In my case, I listen to music in English sometimes. Nice. Or watching a movie. Nice. And what kind of music do you listen to? Uh, uh, I like uh, uh, rock. My turn for the it's my turn. I watch video games. I play video games every day. Okay. I practice in Grammarly and I would like to learn all other modes. Okay. Hey, that's nice. That's nice. Remember that practice is the most important thing, right? The more that you practice the language, the better it's going to be for your fluency your pronunciation, your vocabulary, and things like that. And so we're going to look today, we're going to be uh, getting started, and we're going to be looking at pre-intermediate module number two. I don't know if everybody has access to this section in the platform. Yes. yes, teacher. Okay. All right. So we're going to look at the first section. The first section is coming from here. How often do you exercise? So when we are talking about how often, we're going to be looking at the adverbs of frequency. Now, what is an adverb of frequency? Uh, for example, here, I have, I hardly ever exercise, right? I hardly ever exercise. So if I say to you, I hardly ever exercise, what is the opposite of I hardly ever exercise? What is the opposite? I do. Every day. Very good. I exercise every day. Right? Or I always exercise. Right? So basically, the adverbs of frequency express to us how often the activity takes place. Um, another example can be, uh, I never, I never, uh, let's say, I never go, I never go to, what's a place that you never go to? The gym. All right. I never go to the gym. Right. Or you can say, for example, eh, I sometimes 
go to the movies, right? I sometimes go to the movies, right? So these are examples whenever you want to express the frequency of the activities. Any questions? Questions at this moment? No. All right. Let me no, go, let me go ahead and share with you the examples here on the on the chat so you can have them with you. All right. Uh, another activity that I would like for us to do right now is share the conversation. Everybody, please listen and repeat. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in line skating. Sure. Sure. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? How? Oh. How, How often do you exercise like that? Like that. Mm, about five times a week. What about you? About, about five, five times a week. A week. What about, about you? you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. Oh, oh, I have ever 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 I usually just watch TV in my free time. I usually, I usually, watch, TV usually watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. I guess I'm a real, 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 real couch potato. All right. At this moment, this, does anybody have any questions related to this conversation, related to the pronunciation or the meaning of any of the words that you see in the conversation? Yes, I have a question. What have is your question. question? What is your question? Uh, what means the last, uh, the words in the last uh, sentence? Couch potato. Yeah. A couch potato is somebody that is lazy, uh, somebody that doesn't exercise, only watch TV, eat, sleep, uh, a sedentary lifestyle. Comodo in Spanish? Comfortable. That's right. It can be something like comfortable. Like the person doesn't want to be active physically. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a couch potato. All right. Uh, I see in the WhatsApp, uh, somebody's asking, ya paso lista? Uh, we're going to take the attendance at 8.30 every day. Okay. Okay, coach. Mm -hmm. okay, so right now I would like for us to practice this dialogue in pairs. Let me have two volunteers, please. Let me have two volunteers, please. Me, teacher. Okay. Me, teacher. All right, I'm going to share with you the conversation in the WhatsApp chat. 
Let me have, who said me? Who said me? Hi. Okay, Nubia, you Nubia. are Nubia, you are going to be Marie. Who else said me? Okay. George Alberto. Okay, George yeah. Alberto, you're going to be Paul. Ready, okay. action. Hi. You, you, uh, compartió la en el WhatsApp? Yes, I did. Uh, yes, I did. A... In the what? No, tiene que ir al correo que le mandaron eh, uh, la inscripción y allí dice agregar al grupo WhatsApp. Perfecto, entonces que participe alguien más mientras me uno. No, 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 I'm going to share right now. Can you see? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Do you really fit? Paul, do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I like lift, wait, lift, lift, I lift, lift, wait for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in the go in line skating. Wow, how cool. Often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am a really coach potato. Okay. Excellent. Good pronunciation. Very good. Uh, go ahead, Nubia. Select somebody, please. Mm. Isaura, Evelia. Isaura, you are going to be Marie. And Alberto, select somebody, please. Carlos Ernesto Rivera Villana. All right, Carlos Ernesto, you are going to be Paul. Okay. Action. Okay. You are really fit. Paul, do you exercise a lot? I I can I can I can see the the, the conversation. Oh, okay. Can you see it now? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Okay. All right. You ask me if I am exercise. I do exercise. Well, I almost always get up early and I leave weight for one hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in line. Skating. Often. Wow. Often. La T allí no se pronuncia. Often. Wow. Okay. How often do you exercise like that? Five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am a real... I can see that. Whoa. Couch potato. Couch potato. Couch potato. Couch potato. Uh -huh. Couch potato is somebody that lives a sedentary lifestyle. Couch potato. Una persona que no ejercita, que no es activa. De la cama al sofa. Del sofa al game chair. A jugar PlayStation. Y allá la cama otra vez. De allí Netflix, de allí PlayStation, and that's it, right? No basketball, no football, no swimming, only sedentary. All right, Isaura, 
Good job, Isaura. And good job, uh, Carlos. Go ahead, select the next participant. Okay, uh, Fatima Noemi Rivera Rivas. Okay, Fatima, you are Marie. Fatima, you are Marie. And select the, the next person, uh, Carlos. Uh, Maria Elizabeth. All right, Maria uh, Elizabeth is going to be Paul. Okay. Action. <clears throat> you may begin. <clears throat> Eh, habíamos dicho María Elizabeth and ¿Quién era la otra Paul. persona? Paul. Eh, ¿Quién era la otra persona que habíamos elegido? Fátima Noemi, creo. Fátima. Ok, tal vez está trabajando. Eh, vamos con Jocelyn Yvette. Usted es Marie. Action. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get, get up early and I leave way for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in line scary. Wow, how often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real Ouch potato. potato. Ouch potato. Okay. All right. Good job. Good job. Excellent. At this moment, does anybody have questions in regards to this vocabulary in the conversation? No, coach. Okay. Yeah. Weights. 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 Pesas. 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 I lift weights. Levanto pesas. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's listen to the conversation. Listen to the conversation. Hello. We're now in section six. Can everybody How often hear do the you exercise? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation. Can you about hear? How often they... Can everybody hear? Yes. 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 Okay. Pay attention to the question, how often, and what they use to respond. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. In our next session, I will teach you adverbs of frequency so you can respond how often you do a particular activity. All right. Now, for this exercise, here you are going to write a similar conversation a to this one. You're going to write it down here in the conversation forum. Añade una publicación. You're going to click 
where it says añade una publicación. Here, where it says título, you're going to write how, how often activities, how often activities. And you're going to write the conversation similar to the one there. For example, uh, you can have uh, Robert and you say, hey, how are you doing today, uh, Peter? And then Peter responds, I feel good. Oh no, I don't feel too good. I don't feel too good. And then Robert responds, really? I'm so sorry to hear that. What do you think is wrong with you? ¿Qué crees que te pasa? And then Peter responds, I don't know. I feel tired and sleepy and without motivation all the time. All right, so it's going to be a, a similar conversation to this conversation over here. And you're going to write the conversation here in the discussion forum. When you finish, you are going to click right here where it says enviar. Right here where it says enviar, you're going to click right there. Like that. And then we will be able to see your conversation example here. Any questions? No, no. Okay. So at this moment, I'm going to let you work in pairs for three minutes so that you can share your ideas with your partners. We're going to work three minutes in pairs so that you can share your ideas together. Three minutes, ready, let's go. Si está en un grupo que no está participando, levanta la mano para ir a ver y ayudar. Puede compartir su pantalla. Teacher me regresó o es un solo grupo ese. Ah, ok. Ahorita le vuelvo a mandar la solicitud. Le vamos a poner Alba Luz en el grupo 2. Good. You feel good? Yes, you? I'm, I'm good too. I feel good. All right. Do you like to exercise very much? Um, I'm not. 
you don't like it. Fatima no contesta. Ahorita que se acaba de agregar Nelson. Ah, ok. Hi, Nelson. Right. Hello, Nelson. Hello, Nelson. Can you hear me, Nelson? No listen, teacher. Oh, uh, no. I think they are working. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now we're going to be looking at the next activity, which is going to be coming from the next section, which is using adverbs of frequency. Listen to the grammar explanation. The questions, you Can everybody the hear the audio? Hi, everyone. In this session- Can everybody we hear the adverbs. audio? Yes, 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 I, yes can. I can. Sure. I can okay. hear you. Okay. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Hi everyone, in this session we will go over adverbs of frequency to indicate how often or not you do something. Let's listen up. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Always. Almost always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, almost never, never. I think it would help to know the position of the adverbs of frequency in a sentence. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. So let's replace the structure with real sentences. He never plays baseball. We always go for a run. You hardly ever swim. Notice the position of the adverbs. Never, always, hardly ever. But let's talk about sometimes. Sometimes is a special case. It can go in the same position as the rest or it can go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. For example, I sometimes go to a dance class. Sometimes I go to a dance class. I go to a dance class sometimes. How about you? How often do you exercise? How often do you do any sports activity? All right. So I want you to notice in this example, we have frequency plus verb plus the complement. adverbs of frequencies. Do you ever want so I want you to notice that here, when I say every day, goes to the at the end. Once a week goes at the end of the sentence. Twice a month goes at the end of the sentence. Three times a year goes at the end of the sentence. When it's negative, I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. When it's a negative, it goes at the end of the sentence. When it's more than one word, every day, once a week, twice a month, three times a year, is usually at the end of the sentence. Or in the beginning of the sentence, for example, I can say, eh, 
every day I lift weights. That's possible. Or you can say, I lift weights every day. That's possible too. Now, the ones that have only one word, for example, often, sometimes, uh, usually, always, never, goes between the subject and the main verb. In this example, I often watch TV. I sometimes watch TV. I never watch TV. So you can put it in between the subject and the verb. Now, if I say to you, for example, if I say to you, do you like to exercise, what do you respond? Yes, I like. I do or no. I don't, right? That is the correct response. Do you like to exercise? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Any questions? Any questions? Okay. So at this moment... Teacher. teacher. Hi. Excuse me. Hi. Uh, you, you say... You say... Uh, um, with the number of frequently, 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 uh -huh. the, uh, in the sentences can can be uh, the finally the sentence between or beginning. Yes. Yes. Correct. Yes. When you have the three, the three ways, correct. Yes. If I say to you, I lift weights every day. Every day, I lift weights. Or I lift weights every day. In this case, eh, cuando es dos o más palabras, va al final de la oración o al principio. Cuando es solamente una palabra. For example, watch TV. For example, often, sometimes, never. Usualmente va entre el sujeto, I, you, he, she, whatever, y el verbo. Watch, go, run, eat. Ok, entonces el tip ahí es cuando son dos o más palabras, puede ir al inicio o al final. Cuando Correct. es una palabra, al medio. Va entre el verbo y el sujeto. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Uh, thank you for the question. Another question, guys. Another question, guys. No. Okay. Teacher, I have Hi. a question. Yes, Jose Luis. Uh, when when I have a case, uh, when I like ask. Uh -huh. eh, question, no sé cómo explicarle, teacher, pero lo voy a decir en español. Uh -huh. Cuando queremos hacer una pregunta usando frecuencias, uh -huh. ¿cómo se redacta? Ah, uh, ok. Por ejemplo, si le quiere preguntar a alguien, eh, ¿con qué tan frecuencia va al gym? Eh, sería, do you... No. No ah, ok. Si quieres preguntar con qué frecuencia va el gym, va a decir How often do you exercise? Ah. Bueno, ese es hacer ejercicio. Pero si okay. quieres preguntar ir al gym, sería How often how do you go to the gym? Do you go to the gym? Uh -huh. How often do you go to the gym? ¿Con qué frecuencia vas al gym? ¿Con qué frecuencia haces el super? How often do 
you go grocery shopping? Ver, ¿Con qué frecuencia hacen el súper? Eh, ¿Con qué frecuencia eh, vamos a ver, vas a la iglesia? How often do you go to church? ¿O con qué frecuencia visitas a tus papás? How often do you visit your family? Right. Those are all some examples. Okay, guys. At this moment, eh, we're going to take the attendance. En este momento vamos a pasar la lista de asistencia. When I call your name, please say present. When I call your name, please say present. Give me just a second. Sorry. Yeah. Eh, Alba Luz. Present teacher. Okay. Alba Luz present. Ana Hernandez. Present teachers. Okay. Blanca Benavides. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Rivera. Present teacher. Okay. Cristina Chavarria. Present teacher. All right. Edma Marina. Present teacher. Okay. Edwin Hercules. Present coach. Okay. Efraín Emilio. Efraín Emilio Acevedo. Absent. Eh, Fátima Marroquín. Mejía. All right. Eh, Fátima Rivera. Absent. Okay. Herbert Bojorges. Permitime. Permitime. Presente, presente, teacher. Thank you. Isaura Vasquez. Present teacher. Excellent. Josia Mejia. Present teacher, present. Very good. Jonathan Flores. Jonathan Flores. Absent. Okay. George Morales. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Orellana. Present. All right. Jose Castro. Present. Good job. Maria Morataya. Present teacher. Very good. Nelson Serron. Nelson Serron. In the chat. In the chat. Okay. Very good, Nelson, thank you. Nelson is present. Norma Callejas. Present. Thank you. Norma Lizano. Present teacher. Okay. Nuvia Morales. Present teacher. Okay. 
Oscar Santana. Oscar Santana. Oscar Santana. Alguien está escribiendo en el chat, teacher. Tiene la conexión, dice alguien ahí. Ok. Mm, Nelson, sí. No, no lo veo. In the group coach. In the WhatsApp group. Ah, oh, ok. Eh, Fátima Noemí Rivera Rivas, veo que escribió ahí. Dice que tiene problemas con conexión. Fátima Noemí Riva, Rivera Rivas, ok. Present. Eh, no veo que me escriba Oscar Alexander. Ok, Oscar Alexander, absent. Silvia Melara. Present. Thank you. Susana Aguilar. Susana Aguilar. It's not here. It's absent. Okay. Yancy Montes. Present. Thank you. Jenny Ardon. Present teacher. Okay. Jenny Carolina. Teacher, ¿será que soy la misma? Eh, tenía a Yancy Montes y Jenny Ardón. Yo yes, que... teacher, present. I am Yancy. <laughs> ah, ok. Yancy y Jenny. Yes. Ok. Eh, thank you. Ya las marqué present a las dos. Jocelyn Bonilla. Present teacher. All right. Thank you. So, tenemos absent Susana, Oscar, Jorge, oh no, Jonathan Josué, Flores, absent Efraín Emilio. Y de allí todos están presentes. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you for your patience. Uh, now, we're going to look at the next activity. For this activity, what I want you guys to do is I want you to give me five examples. Me va a dar cinco, cinco ejemplos. Con pregunta y respuesta. Five examples. Con pregunta y respuesta. Las preguntas pueden ser, por ejemplo, ya les voy a enseñar unos ejemplos. Por ejemplo, usted dice, how often do you exercise? And you can say, I exercise. Uh, once a week, for example. Uh, how of 
happen? Do you go to church? I go to church every weekend, for example. All right, so you're going to give me five examples. And I want you to write them down here in the discussion forum. You're gonna say, you're gonna go añade una publicación. You're going to go where it says titulo. And you're gonna put adverb, adverbs of frequency and then you're going to come over here and you're going to write the questions with the answers and then where it says enviar you're going to click enviar do you understand do you understand Yes, I understand. Yes. Yes, at, this, yes. at, this, at this moment, does anybody have any questions? Teacher, Hi. tengo un tengo un problema. So que a mí no me aparece el módulo por intermedio number two. Número dos, no, no aparece mi plataforma. Ah, ok. Um, en este caso, le puede escribir a... Um, Yo creo que Luis Bonilla es el encargado de, de darles el acceso. Le puede escribir a él en WhatsApp o en, o en un correo electrónico para que él les, les brinde el acceso. Ok, thank you. Yes. Teacher. Él, él está en el grupo del WhatsApp que tenemos. Yes. Ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. Teacher, una pregunta. A la hora de poner eh, la actividad, así como la está poniendo usted ahorita, no tenemos que poner el nombre. No, Nuestro nombre. No, no, no. No, ah, no, okay. no, no tiene que poner el nombre porque aquí le aparece. Por ejemplo, esta es la que yo acabo de hacer. Si yo le doy clic aquí, usted ve, aquí está mi nombre. Rubén Enrique Santos. Ok, gracias. Uh -huh. Solo tiene que poner el título de la actividad que sería adverbs of frequency, las preguntas con las respuestas. Cinco ejemplos. All right. Vamos a trabajar en parejas tres minutos para apoyarnos. And then we continue. Ah, oh, disculpa, no, no, no te entendí. Muy bien, y aquí está. Se le escucha cortado, se le escucha cortado. Así es, así es. How often do you go? 
to the beach. No sé si me escuchó. Yes. yes. Ah, pero ¿cada cuánto yes. vas a la playa? Ahí, ¿cómo se podría contestar? Eh, cuando, por querer decir no mucho, no more, pero tiene que ser larga la, la respuesta, ¿verdad? La respuesta. Ajá. Sí. Tendría que ser... Ay, cada vacación de verano, por ejemplo. I don't go. I don't go to the beach. Mm -hmm. Yo tengo una pregunta tal vez así. How often do you eat Chinese food? ¿Cada cuánto comes comida china? Um... Are you guys finished? No. Uh, no from sorry. time. From time to, to time. For example, de vez en cuando. No sé si está bien la respuesta. Eh, ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Eh, ¿Cada cuánto comes comida china? Uh -huh. ¿Y la respuesta? From time to time. From time to time. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, okay. that's good. Teacher, o sea que no tiene que ser necesariamente larga la respuesta. No, 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 no. O sea, por ejemplo, ella estaba preguntando, eh, porque ella dijo, how often do you go to the beach? Mm -hmm. Entonces, mi, pre mi respuesta es no, no more. Eh, no more. O tendría que... no, no, perdón. No, no much. Eh, tendría que ser, I don't, I don't go to the beach. Ajá, uh -huh. I don't go to the beach. Or, okay. o si quiere decir casi nunca voy a la playa, I hardly ever go to the beach. I hardly ever go to the beach. Y si lo hago, hago cada cierto tiempo, por ejemplo, every summer vacation. Oh, that's good. Every summer vacation. That's good. Okay. Norma, ¿tienes alguna? Uh, how often do you visit your grand, grand, grandparent? ¿Cuánto visitas a tus abuelos? I always visit my grandparents. Eh, ¿Cómo sería cada fin de semana? Every, 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 every weekend. weekend. Every, every weekend. weekend. Every okay. weekend.
Okay, let me have one volunteer. Let me have one volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, Blanca. Me, teacher. Okay, Isaura. Blanca asked the question. Isaura responds to the question. Correct. How often do you English study? Ah, ahí sería, how often do you study English? Study English, okay. Ahorita, aquí la voy a escribir. How, oops. How often do you study English? Uh-huh. I always study English. Excellent. I always study English. Good. Next question. Uh, how often do you swim? All right. How often do you go swimming? Okay. I never, I never go swimming. I never go swimming is correct. How often do you how often do you do room? All right. How often do you run? How often do you run? I never, I never, never run. I never run. Good. good. Okay. All right. These are good examples. These are very good examples. Thank you for your participation. Uh, excellent work. Okay, guys, we're going to stop right here. It's already almost time to go and I need to continue for my next class. So I encourage you to please continue working in the platform. There is no limit to your progress on the platform. If you have any questions, you can write me in the WhatsApp chat and I will help you. If not, you can ask the group and the group can help you. Okay, guys, para los nuevos, nice to meet you. Para los que ya estábamos, es un placer verlos de nuevo. Good night, nice guys. Nice to, you. You nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.